Let's together unlock this swing pattern from the world's number one coach, Pete Cowan. And it's all to do with how we load and unload through the ball. Now, a lot of these things you do naturally, but we all simply forget about it. This is our power. Now, for your lesson notes today, there's two key areas I really want you just to sort of focus on. How we load this in the backswing, and then on the downswing, when we're unloading, how do we keep the slight angle in our wrist? Because if we're looking for power, how quiet was that net, by the way? Where we're hitting shots away and we're achieving numbers like this with a seven iron, we have to do that. So the first phase we're gonna concentrate on here before we break down that downswing motion is, what does this club do in the backswing and how does this affect our arm? Now, I don't want you to think about the arm in the backswing at all. I want you to think about the shaft angle and your arm will start to set correctly because of that. So if I address the golf ball here, roughly the angle of that shaft to the ground is around 45 degrees, right? It's not up here, it's not down here, it's around 45 degrees. Now, if I said to you, make a 45 degree angle to the ground on the way back, so basically keeping it the same as what I had at address. So if we go here and match it, my right arm started to set. Now, if I just turn a little bit more, that's exactly the position we want to be in. Now, what I say to all my students is, if we come a little bit closer here, at the top of the backswing, if I wanted to push into the ceiling, that is the position of my arm. If it was here, I couldn't push into the ceiling. I'd sort of be pushing out this way. Okay, so we want to feel as if I'm pushing into the ceiling above me or I had the ability to. That is literally the backswing sorted in terms of loading the arm. I'm now going to break this down in some simple little steps of what exactly we do and how we keep this wrist in this motion. And I've got a brilliant drill which just automatically does it for you. But I often find if we break it down, you start to learn it. So come on, let's concentrate here together. Let's break this down really nice and simply. I want you just to put your arm out in front of you with a little bit of a bend you can see here. You'll also notice I have got this angle in my wrist. Now we're gonna really simply break this down and then we're gonna bring it all together. So don't worry, but just concentrate here for me. If you really wanna get power, if you think about it, that is the force you can't really get much force from that left arm. I always think of this arm as my power arm. Let's get this right. So we've got our arms set up in here and have a look at that from player cam. Just copy what I'm doing. So you wanna practice turning our forearm anti-clockwise from what you're looking at. So from player cam, like this. Now as I'm doing that, you'll notice I'm keeping the angle in my wrist, okay? We then want to have the second action is our right arm wants to extend. Now, what I say to golfers is this automatically happens. So don't worry about this, but it will extend. Because think about it, if it starts here, it goes here to get back to where the ball was, it has to come back. So don't worry about that extension. We've got to get that, okay? Now, bringing that all together, up, I'm going to rotate my forearm anti-clockwise as my right arm extends. Okay, watch that again from there. We're up, rotate anti-clockwise as my right arm extends. So doing that with the golf club, I find that if I grab my elbow, I can really get the sensation that I'm turning my forearm. So bring it to the top as my right arm extends and working it anti-clockwise. Now, if you look at that, that's me putting pressure down on the ball. That's me putting pressure into impact. And just simply doing this one-handed, that's exactly the motion you would get. Whereas a lot of us, we try and get it out here. So now we've broken it down, what simple drill can we do to bring it into your game? I want you to do this. This is one of Pete Cowan's, I mentioned world number one coaches sequence. Pete Cowan is that for me. Now you notice I've gone cack handed here. We're not hitting shots like this, but you can see here going cack handed, it encourages this slight bend in my right arm. Now. For me, this gets me to load the backswing correctly. Look at this position automatically. This is how I'm really gonna drill it in this winter. I don't even have to hit shots for this. Then on the way down, I work it anti-clockwise, but look, it starts to extend. So what I want you to do, for every shot you're gonna hit, we're gonna do maybe eight, 10 reps of that feeling because we're getting it set right. And we're getting the idea 
of that downswing. So hitting some shots away, I really just want you to go slow really, all the way to the top, feel that and move it through. The idea that I have in the swing is, I'm doing this. That is the simplest way you can really see what I'm doing. Now, did you notice? Look how the ball just flies straight back for me. Dead easy to use. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it's your home of simple golf tips.